Hey everybody, this is Ori from Circuit, and I'm going to show you how to install a volume, how to actually install DigitalOcean's additional storage space, uh, which is redundant, which is uh, can grow, and it can be very, very large size if you need to store additional data on your actual uh, DigitalOcean droplet. Uh, so very, very simple. So you have two ways to actually add volumes. Number one is you can actually go to the specific droplet and then go to the volumes tab and add, which is what we're going to do. The other option is you can actually go and when you set up a new uh, droplet, you can actually, while setting it up, you can actually add a volume. Okay, so let's go and just show you the quick steps and uh, let's proceed. Okay, so uh, I clicked on volume. I'm going to name it the one I want. Um, let's just keep it the default. And now I'm going to actually specify the size that I need okay so let's just say I need an extra um, 250 gigs okay let's say I'm storing all of my media files on that section um, so it, I will go here and then once I put in the 250 gigs I'll see the price per hour and per month now this price also includes data transfer as far as I remember and uh, it's a it's kind of an all included storage space, which again is redundant. It copies itself um, and is really good for storing large, large volumes. Okay. Now, um, when you create a volume, you have to make sure <coughs> that the volume location is in the same location as your, your actual droplet. You can't have a location in uh, a droplet in Europe and then the actual volume in, let's say, US, for example. Okay. So let's click on create. And um, once we once it gets created, we're gonna actually have to add it to or configure it to our actual volume, our actual excuse me, our actual droplet. So now that we create it, we have to do two very simple steps. And once you create the volume, it'll just tell you how to do that. So what you have to do is log into your server. Okay, just log into the server. Okay, so I just created this quick droplet for uh, just this example, which I'll delete after. Okay, one second. Okay, let's log in. Okay, perfect. So basically, step one is we're going to actually format the volume. Okay, it's a new volume, so we need to format it. We'll just copy and paste. And again, all of the information, once you create a volume, will be specified very, very simply. Okay. Uh, the next step, you're going to actually have to mount it and make sure that this volume is accessible from the operating system uh, of your specific droplet. And then if a re reboot happens, it'll actually continue to recognize this as part of the operating system. Okay, so let's copy this and run the same thing. Okay, and that's it. And we should be good. Okay, so that is basically it. So now you can start storing files, media files, backups, whatever you want for this very large um, extra a hard disk space, which is in SSD and it's fast and etc. Uh, you can start using it. So uh, that's basically it. So um, again, the in this case, what we did here, last thing is we actually uh, did mount it via this right here, MNT volume and then the, this is the volume name that we chose when we set up okay so hope you enjoyed this video thank you